Hey guys, welcome back to Caesar 3 and we're now on part 4 of Lutetia, the fruit block designs. Now in the previous parts we've been struggling setting up and establishing fruit blocks, but this time we are going up to max level housing, 10,000 people and mastering and refining all of the fruit blocks. So there's a lot to do, so let's go ahead and get things started. All right, so looking at this cherry block, we've got a ways to go. We need to get oil in. We've got to get all things going. And you kind of know you've been on a map long enough when your peace rating has hit what it needs to be because this goes up as a steady thing every year. So basically, you could win as soon as the peace rating hits and we are five above. So these missions are taking a little bit longer than possible, but we are doing lots of crazy things now. Some tricky things over here. You see food is not keeping up. Solution to that, destroy some houses. Just remove houses. I'm gonna remove houses until that food problem is solved. Meanwhile, over here, lots of food there. So that means we could support a lot more houses right here. So I'm just gonna fill this up with houses on this side. Desirability might be a little bit of an issue, but we will figure that out when it comes to it. And we can also just go ahead and drop a couple extra markets, I think. Market. Market. Done. Fill the middle with gardens. Uh, I hate Caesar gardens, but maybe I could make them look a little bit better with like some statues here and there, right? 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 That looks... Uh, as, let's get it working first, yeah? Money is a little bit short, so let's not overdo it. Let's not overdo it. Uh, but let's get more people moving in. Now, let me just check water here. Not gonna worry too much about that. We're gonna need a fountain right there. Now, we are short by eight employees. That will be solved pretty soon. What are we currently importing? Olives and vines. We are exporting iron. And can we start... Oh, wait, no. We, we stopped exporting pottery because we ran out of it right so that means we have to increase our pottery industry can i do that can i do that i mean this this block design here is pretty garbage isn't it um i like having the centralized pottery let's see raw materials clay pit what's the limit on things here I mean, just how this road is all set up is kind of bad. If I just do this, and I just stub this lemon just a tiny bit, we can fit another clay pit right there. And then we could have another two pottery workshops. Which, since this area is now operational, we could just do this have a pottery workshop out there because we are protecting this area with an engineer's post. Evil scientist says, pa. Yeah, that, that's pretty much Caesar when I'm playing these super inefficient styles. Now, all of this looks rather weird because we're grabbing a lot of food to bring over to this side. So in actuality, the warehouse should be like here, set to accepting wheat. This will bring it a little bit closer to where we're actually getting the wheat, and we can turn this off, uh, start emptying that warehouse. Shift the wheat over to here, please. That will be very nice. So that will actually shorten the distance over to the banana block, helping to feed it a bit better, I think. What do these need? Basic educational facilities. Okay, we need a school then. Get a school going. Okay, so we do have one type of wine here. Do we have something getting oil ah oh, we do have some oil coming down where is it where is it we are importing a bit of olives here i think this guy fantastic fantastic so all of these people are now moving in as well why are people unhappy people love me people love me it's just that guy it's just that guy that guy doesn't like me but it's fine Kirchhoff says, don't block the road to Rome. Uh, I think, I think we're safe. Worst case, they can not Wolves. Wolves. Why are wolves here? 
Can they get through here? I think it's blocked, right? Where did wolves come from? Did they just respawn? Okay. Okay. Let's deal with that. Now, we aren't importing anything we don't need, right? No, we're not importing marble or anything like that. Let's, uh... Do I export pottery again? I think I gotta start exporting pottery again. We are trying to produce as much pottery as we can. I mean, it's, it's just not an efficient setup, is it? Now, those wolves, where are they? There. Okay, I think they're pretty much trapped down this corner unless they run up this way, which I don't think they are. Odyssea says, greetings from Colombia. Ah, ah. That's a sign that you need higher taxes if the people love you. <laughs> if the people love me, I need higher taxes. You know, you're probably right. Let's go up to 7%. And also, let's deal with these wolves. They're running away. Okay. Oh, we're under attack! I forgot that an invasion was on the way. Where are they coming from? Not there. Let's just not deal with the wolves right now. Are they coming from up here? They are coming from up here, okay. We don't have a lot of troops here. We don't have a lot. I have a lot of towers. I can't remember if I've got a blessing from Mars, but this is gonna have to do, right? <laughs> All these towers, hopefully we can hold, hopefully we can hold. Okay, okay, we'll see how that goes. Uh, I need to evolve these houses and get things going, right? Colosseums is what I need. Let us build some Colosseums. And we are going to need... Where's entertainment coming from? Oh, I never put any down. <laughs> uh, right. Um, actor colony. Uh, gladiator school. Lion House. Okay, don't worry about money. We'll make that back. We'll make that back. Let's deal with this invasion, shall we? Perhaps I have too much furniture industry? Probably. Let's cut back on that a bit. Okay, so that's a pretty large invasion. We gotta deal with this. We gotta deal with this. Ugh. Oh, how are the gods feeling, by the way? Mars is delighted. Yeah, we have way too much furniture. So oil has been distributed to down here, which is good. We're gonna get entertainment going very soon as well. Where's my javelins? There they are, there they are. Okay, okay. And while I'm at this, let me just make sure I am actually taxing people, right? I'm taxing the blocks I have evolved anyway. Okay, so that's a pretty large invasion. <laughs> My troops are still... They, they were sent away, right? Where are they? Oh, they're marching to relieve a city. Okay, okay. 15 vegetables. Sure. Okay. That's a lot of uh, troops. Can you not be that way? Now, with a bit of luck, with a bit of luck, we can hold them off. We can hold them off. We do have a lot of towers here. This seems to be their preferred attack path. So we have double reinforce this. All right, there's all the... Ooh, that's a nice volley. Second row firing as well, killing a few. All right, here we go, clashing. More fighting, more fighting. The Romans were a very brutal civilization. <laughs> All right, we've got working Colosseums. Hmm. All right, towers doing their job. I think the legions are holding okay. I think so, I think so. We've wiped out that first fort. We, we haven't lost anyone. More fighting, more fighting, more killing, more stabbing, yes. 
Relief force defeated, the invading barbarians in gratitude. Caesar sends materials and men to let you build a triumphal arch. A second one. A second triumphal arch. Let's go, let's go. Come on. Let's kill these blue guys. Strong arm. It's actually fine. It's, actually, it's not even close. It's not even close. One survivor. What, what do you think his name is? Blackbeard. Blackbeard gets away. And we lost just four. Let, let's send everyone back for now. We'll, we'll deal with the wolves later. Um, the couple extra markets did a first feeding here. Okay, that's bringing in more people. Shot by eight employees. What was that message? Okay. Now, I did want to put another triumphal arch right here, right? That's what I'm talking about. Bam. Double triumphal arch into the luxury cherries. And look at that, we already have small villas and they need a hospital, which we will work on. Uh, some entertainment, not enough. Hopefully the Colosseum sends a walk around. How about this? Desirability issues, okay. Let's get out of debt for now, yeah? It seems like we've shifted enough food over to that side. Too few people are working. We're shot by nine employees. Come on. Can we just lose on entertainment? Yes. Okay, there we go. There we go. Let's get that all working so we can lose this warehouse now, I think. Yeah, we don't need that. That should help with the food supply a little bit. It seems like maybe, maybe it's okay. Uh, it's still struggling. We'll see if that stabilizes, now that we've shortened the distance. We're getting out of debt here, and uh, I just need to make sure pottery supplies do keep up. Um, and I think they're doing okay. Because we have so many markets, there is a bit of a backup stockpile. So these markets actually have everything they need. Look at all those resources. Uh, they just need... So many people moved in, but we're still short. Um, let's get those hospitals down, shall we? We wanted to put one here and there to evolve these further. Still not getting enough entertainment there. That's, that's kind of annoying, isn't it? The lion never walks to the left, I guess? <laughs> okay, well, hospital's down. Evolving these further, and now they need an academy. What does this house here need? Needs improved access by a school. Can I just move this school over? And provide some coverage to that house outside. We could get a bonus villa on the outside. Try expanding the pottery industry to another small block just for pottery. Yeah, but it'll mess up all the distribution of things, so you don't want to do that too much if at all possible. Can I distort this lemon anymore? I could. If I just do that. I could very much distort this lemon. Okay, it's a mutated lemon, right? It's a mutated lemon. I need to solve this problem above other things. <laughs> you know, might as well mutate it a bit more over there. Bam. Boosted the pottery industry and mutated a lemon. Remove the pips. The pips aren't so much a problem because it's already too far from the clay, for, for clay pits to go down there. Okay, that, that should help with the pottery industry. Okay, more people moving in. Uh, this... Yeah, the lions just don't go left. Ah, there we go. School access provided. Let me just double check. Education, schools... Are the school children walking the correct way? One goes right, one goes up, two goes over there, just about provides access. Do they reach this house? Yes. So now we got a bonus villa there. 
And now they just need academy access. Do I have room for academies? I do, I do. I just don't have employees right now. We need these guys to move in. Okay, okay. Uh, what do pe people are extremely pleased with me? Okay, let's just try slowly up taxes until they're not they're not so pleased with me. <laughs> right? Shift the Colosseum to the other side. Yeah, the Colosseum probably has to go there. That should solve the problem. Hopefully. Oh. Did it get Colosseum access? Well, all right. All right, so current priority is to just get out of debt. Ooh, there we go. We sold a nice bunch. It is December. What are we not selling? Yeah, it's just pottery. Did we just sell pottery? What What did we just sell? Ah. We just maxed out weapon sales. Come on, just, just buy something. He's walking back that way. I assume we could uh, solve a problem there. By the way, boosting our population to 10,000 will actually not be that difficult. We just need to build like another, maybe another block here. We could do one more fruit block right here. Don't walkers for entertainment have shorter walks if they come from far away? I don't think so. Lester, I don't think so. Right? Where the entertainers come from doesn't affect their walk distance, right? It's because the amphitheater... Oh, he's walking back around... Ah, I see. Right. He's not walking back to buy anything. Oh, there we go. We're out of debt. It's January. It's out of debt. Fantastic. Now we can go back into debt. That's what we call economics. <laughs> um... All right, what do these guys need? Supply of oil? You know what? Go get some oil. This is close to the oil and the furniture, so one warehouse will be able to do it. We're gonna evolve the pineapple block to Grand Insulase. What do these guys need? Furniture. We do have plenty of furniture. Go get furniture. Apple block. Going to symbolic apple block to get furniture. All right, all right. Pottery seems to be holding up. It seems to be. There is... There are seven, eight units, nine units. Okay, okay. I think this is going okay. This... Yeah, I have to get rid of one of the, one of the pips of the lemon to make this a bit more efficient. Workshop, pottery, right there, bam. Okay, okay. This symbol, welcome to the stream. I think this is the first time you've been in chat and we get to see that red star next to your name. The symbol, ah, uh, look at that red star. You're the only one on this channel who has that red star. Ghostly Present says, I still can't see how those are lemons. Well, first of all, there's one lemon. This one here is a pear, okay? That's a pear, and that's a lemon, right? So that is a lemon. By the way, natural lemons, natural lemons are not smooth. They're all bumply and bubbly and all of that stuff. And it doesn't, that's how they're supposed to look. It's only modern farming that's made them smooth. So I'm actually going back to the more accurate, natural, traditional looking lemon. That's, that's what I'm going with. That's what I'm going with. Okay, so these have all evolved. Fantastic. We've now got some oil and furniture into these large insules. Uh, this whole area, by the way, is fed by two types of food, which seems like we need more wheat. Because things are not... I don't know. What can I do here? Let's make this a bit more efficient, right? I'm gonna move this over. We're gonna change the shape of this leaf. 
to do something a bit more. Rome increased the price of one of the goods. Wine. Okay. Okay, I'm trying to make this look like a leaf, okay? That still makes sense. Leaf. Okay, good. <laughs> But that's a reshaped leaf to fit two more wheat farms, which seems important. Oh, I could fit one more if I got rid of that house. That's absolutely worth it. You guys just sit right there. Bam. Three more wheat farms to solve the food problem in the dissected apple block. Fantastic. Now, what do these guys need again? Academy. How's my employment? No employment problems, which means we put down academies. Uh... Bam. Bam. Academies. Fantastic. This needs desirability, right? So we can also go ahead and put down like do I want medium statues? I think medium statues like this looks good, right? That's still a desirability problem. There we go. That's evolved up into villas. Uh, how do people... People are very pleased with me, which means we tax them more. Ooh, look at that. Look at that. Large villas. Yes. Now, we are short on employees. Is there anything I want to... fix or solve from all of this. Oh right, we are actually short on wheat here. We have too many pig farms. We're supposed to have three pig farms, or three farms of each. And I, ac I thought I was short on pigs, but actually I'm short on wheat. But looks like food supply is actually fine there. I kind of want to like build another block to feed them, right? The pottery workshop in the top right of the lemon block where you mutate the lemon in general. Could that not support another clay pit due to proximity to water? What? Uh, no. Ooh, 7,000 people. Would you look at that? Would you look at that? We're speeding through the population milestones. Uh, this is pretty much the place where we want to evolve, right? What do they need? Furniture? Didn't I bring furniture in? Oh, they do have furniture, but they don't have desirability. You know what? This should help solve some problems. Oracle. Your victorious soldiers march home proudly. All of your people bask in their glory and goodwill fills the city. Goodwill that we will spend taxing. All right, uh, I probably should just plaza up this whole apple, right? Just plaza the whole apple up until there. We'll plaza the stem going up. I know that puts me in debt, but it's fine. I'll take your pa. That just evolves so many more of these houses nicely. That's gonna bring in some more people. Look at that, extra room for 24. That should solve our current... Oh, the city has, has no employment problems. Okay, okay. Um, needs a second type of wine to evolve this further. Some... Entertainment. Colosseum. We do have some problems with these lions. That house and that house. How do we solve this problem of lions going the wrong way? Or should I just not care? Should I just not care? If I just start importing wine, it will immediately count as two types of wine, and these houses should immediately evolve up until they need a hippodrome. Okay, so it's not worth importing right now. Ooh. Okay, we've overtaxed people. People are indifferent to you. Come on, they're not 
There go. Let's drop it back down to 12%, okay? Yeah, so all of those can devolve. How do I... Hmm. What's happening is they're walking out and then coming back the same way. How could I solve this? I, I gotta think about this. Uh, Blesser always liked the Lion Tamers. Yeah, Lion Tamers are a good character. Uh, where is one? Where is one? And of course he calls his, uh, his Lion Leo. Um, so that just needs... Yeah, I mean, I don't know how we're gonna be doing the Hippodrome. There we go. So every time... Come on, it's not that bad. Look, people are indifferent to you. 10%, fine. 10% taxes. Oh, this is, this is a little tricky. Is this just a desirability problem? Yeah, let me try put a large statue right there. Do I have enough for an oracle right there? Okay, great. Let's... Don't worry about that. Let's let's get them all up to large villas first, yeah? All of these have evolved very nicely. They need oil to go further than that, though. Oh, there's no academy access. Let's go large statue there as well. Okay, okay. Evolving, evolving. There we go, up to a large villa. So, we actually need to move this academy over. To there. Let's move the academy to right here, which should solve the problem of some stability. There we go. All right, so now we've got eight... L Oh, Grand Villas. Uh, Grand Villa, Grand Villa, Grand Villa, Grand Villa. Only two religions. Oh, right. Grand Villa, Large Villa, Large Villa. Third type of food. How do you not have a third type of food? All the markets have three types of food. How does this only have access to... Three, 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 four. Oh, the Mars one keeps walking out the wrong way. Well, I guess I just throw a small Mars temple right there, right? That should solve the problem. I think that should solve the problem. By the way, in case that you hear the rain outside, that's just the rain outside, you know? I live in the tropics, that happens sometimes. <laughs> hmm. It doesn't say which gods... Okay, I think it's Mars they were short on, right? Yeah, yeah, it's Mars. So that... They need three types of food. Come on, if a market lady walks past this house, they should be able to provide three types of food. Oh, well, maybe it's just a time thing. So we're up to Grand Insulase, so the last thing we need there are Hippodromes, and that's gonna be a problem if I don't have enough employment. Uh, so, how do I want to do this? You know, I could just boost the population of the pineapple block a little bit by doing this. And just... We're gonna hear that a lot. We're just gonna put a fountain right here. There. And we can then put like some gardens around like that. Give them a bit of medium statues like that. Just to just to spruce up that a little bit. Let's bring in a few more people. There's plenty of food in that granary for more houses in here. So that shouldn't be a problem. That should bring in enough people to start something with a hippodrome. All of you are just pa pa. <laughs> uh, Dargain says, so nice to catch an early morning stream here in the US. Ah, yes, thank you so much for joining, Dargain. It is very early in the US, I think. Um, so thank you so much for joining. Okay. Now, how do we provide Hippodrome access? Looks like pottery is going back up as well, which is fantastic. Money is going back up, which is fantastic. We actually do have a villa here. 
grand villa as well, right there. Um, how do I position the hippodrome? You can't rotate a hippodrome. How do I do this? Uh, there must be a way. There must be a way. Okay, I think I got it. Not sure if you saw the cogs turning in my head there, but we're gonna do this. We're gonna do this. We're gonna shift that over. We're gonna move the amphitheater to here. We're gonna move the Colosseum to... We could be a bit more efficient and just put it there and remove that. Uh, we can then put a school right there to clear that. And then we can put the Hippodrome right there, which should... Okay, yes. Indigenous people want to stop me from building a hippodrome. Well, okay. Uh, where are you? Where are you? Ah, I hate how that button doesn't work. Do they come from here? They're coming from there as well. Okay. You know, let's get you up. Let's get you up. Let's get you guys going. And we probably don't need everyone, right? Yeah. There we go. This should deal with the indigenous people. Let the auxiliary mounted take the hits first. They're cheap and easy to replace. Javelins all stuck around the back. Oh, it's just a small force. Look at them, look at them. They're not going to stand a chance, Gaulish warriors. Am I sure that they need access to the Hippodrome and not just general entertainment level as you proved with the previous mission? It's a bit hard to do that with Grand Palaces, isn't it? Oh, they just got slaughtered. Jeez, they did not make it far at all. I kind of feel bad for them. No survivors. Oh, okay. Everyone go home. Okay. Uh, why is there a lion? Hail, citizen. This city, we quite like it, really, don't we, Leo? What? Where are you going? He just walked through the gatehouse like he has a destination. And did he just disappear? This house has Colosseum access, but that house doesn't. Why? Because that's just messed up something over there. There was an engineer on this road before. Um, there's something about this road which attracts people it's not supposed to. But I need to solve this problem right here. How do I solve this problem? Oh, that house now has... Why have you devolved? That's some thunder outside. Is it Colosseum access? Colosseum's fine. Amphitheater? It lost amphitheater access. Move the forum there. Let's move the library there. Bring the amphitheater over here.
that's regained its Colosseum access. Okay, okay. So now if I wanted a Hippodrome, it can go very solidly right here. People disgruntled. Let's drop taxes. Actually, let's increase wages by eight so that we can increase taxes by a lot more, right? I'm just gonna look at that for a while. Increase wages by eight is the best way to do things. Okay, uh, let me look at entertainment, amphitheater. Does it never go over there? Why, why are entertainers always the problem here? Coliseum. Okay, entertainment, amphitheater. Are you, does this count as amphitheater access? Okay, okay. We'll see if that stabilizes. Some entertainment, but not enough. What did you just lose? Coliseum. You still got it. Theater. Yes. Amphitheater. Why? Good entertainment, but not enough variety. That means generally overall. Governor Julio just messaged me saying there's no gatehouses in your villas. Yeah, I I'm very, <laughs> I'm very much aware that I'm not using gatehouses on the cherry block. Um, this is obviously not not the uh, not the efficient way of doing things. You know what? Let's just go hippodrome. Bam. You know, you want a charioteer school? No problem. I'm just gonna move this small temple to Mars over. To, uh, to like there so I can go ahead and put a chariot maker right there and I can put an oracle here to offset. I need more marble okay don't worry don't worry I'm gonna import some marble here let's import some marble we're gonna put an oracle right there so they're not too unhappy about that now that has devolved for some reason because you have lost access to library Okay. Let's move. Mars. So I can put a library here. And that... Falling... No, no, that's not right. Ren Ran out of pottery. Ran out of oil. No, it didn't. It's fine. What? Okay. All right. So charioteers are now running on down this way, and they're running up that way. So if I look at hippodrome access here. It's just those two that have a little bit of a problem, which I might be able to solve, maybe. But I've got a working Hippodrome. <laughs> the cherry block feels a bit unstable. Yeah, cherry block's not a good block. It's not a good block. Ghostly present says, what is scary is that he's looking at this block, so if anywhere else gets messed up, I would not realize. You've just made me look at the rest of the map. Oh look, pottery is stockpiled up very nicely. A banana block's not starving. Okay. You know, but what we can do is we can just go ahead and import wine and watch these houses evolve, yeah? We won't import too much because we're actually making our own wine. There we go, there we go. Lovely evolutions there. Mmm, going on up. Very nice. We're at medium palaces evolving again. There we go. Large palaces. Okay, great, great. And some luxury palaces. Did it. Did we import some marble? Yes. Let's stop importing marble. Let's go ahead and put down an oracle as required. 
Do I want it there? If I move this chariot maker over here, does it provide the chariots required down this way? I just need to check this. Because if it does, is this desirability issues? Okay. How do I improve that? If I just put a large statue right there, does that help? Oh, oh yes, there we go. Four luxury palaces. Now, where is this... Where is this going to spawn from? Like, walk to? It should go down this way, right? It should. It still goes up? Really? How interesting. So what do I have here? Engineer's post, doctor's clinics, barber shop? Let me slow the game down before something goes wrong and I actually watch this for a little while. How can I make this work? I need the ch I probably- I need two chariot makers on this block. But how do I make that work as efficiently as possible? I need those oracles. I can't get rid of any of these services properly unless I change these temples to small temples. But if I clear this off, what is that? Engineers post, doctors, barbers. If I go barbers, doctors, clear this off. Engineer's post. Come on. Put the chariot maker here and put an oracle right here. And watch where this this must spawn down this way, right? If it doesn't spawn down this way, it will actually cover. Oh, that's got up to a luxury palace there. Very good, very good. We just need hippodrome access this way. Come on, spawn a chariot. Spawn a chariot. Some people moving out, what happened? These houses? Oh, they're re-evolving, okay, okay, not a problem. Where's the chariot? Come on. Okay, it goes down this way. Okay, so that house there should... Not enough variety. No, no, there we go, there we go. Luxury palace, luxury palace. Okay. Desirability on this one? Okay. Okay. That is a problem. Do not do that. Do not do that. What have you lost? I hate it when it devolves and it gives you the wrong reasons. I could just try boost this up a little bit. Maybe put a large statue back there and there. Okay, maybe that'll work. What did this lose? Entertainment. Theater. Fine. Amphitheater. Fine. Colos Colosseum. Hippodrome. Okay. So, currently, this house is not getting Hippodrome access. Could I solve that? I have to change one of these temples, I think. Or change both of these temples. Unfortunately. Unless... I move... I put an oracle here instead. Move the Mars temple over here. And... I just need one tile open for a barber shop. You know, I'll put the barber shop here. And I just need to squeeze in a backup engineer's post somewhere. So I will just... Hmm. 
you know, it should be okay. And if I put the chariot maker there... I have worked my magic on this incredibly inefficient, unstable cherry block, and we've gotten eight luxury palaces, and... The symbol. That's a pretty big number. The symbol. Uh, the symbol um, wanted to maintain his top cheer in Twitch chat, uh, and he gave ten thousand bits. Ten thousand bits. Now, I can't really properly alt-tab out of this game. The symbol, please do... Ah, there we go. Sajuk posted. Hey, Zach, I meant to do this yesterday, but I missed the stream. I just wanted to say Merry Christmas and Happy New Year to you and Mrs. Game Zach. Put this towards a new chair fund. And the symbol, you've already cheered enough for the <laughs> new chair fund. Uh, but he says, I will not be dethroned for the top cheer. The symbol, thank you so much. Um... Thank you so much for, for that. That is, well, I mean, that that's just a record. I can get a bloody throne for that. Um, I could get a, I could probably not get a chair from Ikea, um, which would probably be a better option, right? Uh, <laughs> uh, anyway, let's, uh, uh, let's make sure this, uh, this symbol, by the way, has now given 20,000 bits, I think, total. Um, Hippodrome access. It's all stable now. Yes. We've got eight luxury palaces max level housing here on Lutetia in a fruit block. Now we just need 2,000 more people and we can focus on winning this mission. How is our unemployment? 1%? Perfect, perfect. So prosperity is going to be absolutely easy peasy lemon squeezy and not so hardy party lemon squazy. So now with uh, the remaining money, I need to just draw a more reasonable fruit block. You know what? This, this is garbage. This is garbage. Uh, governor Julio also says, if I replace the governor's villa, I could have nine. You know, I could have a lot more luxury palaces, but eight is pretty good. Um, this, this wedge block here uh, looks pretty garbage. Um, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna just change some things up here. Do I need two engineers posts here? I guess for security reasons, right? If I just up the farm number here slightly. Like if I go for extra wheat. Extra vegetables. Can I fit one more farm here? That would be nice. Uh, right, we don't... We can just put an engineer's post right there. We can just shorten this, the stem of the pear. We can extend this road here and just go an extra pig farm and an extra vegetable farm, boosting up the amount of food we produce into these three granaries, which uh, has access to those resources as well, so that that's not a lot of people moving out. Okay. So that we can now slow down and we just need 2,000 people. I'm gonna clear off a little bit of space here. And you see this wedge block? I'm just gonna move it on over, you know? I'm just gonna have, yeah, I'm just... Let, let's move the wedge. Should be like that. And it can be like this. You know, fruit wedges don't have to be symmetrical. It's fine. That looks not so good, but okay. Okay. Uh, perhaps a little flatter on the top there. 
Okay. And for ease, for ease, I am going to gatehouse this off. Just, just because. Just because I want to get this a little bit simpler. Let's move this ambiguous fruit wedge over to somewhere a bit more reasonable. We're going to fill up the middle with housing because it looks like fruit flesh on the map. Okay, okay. What's the reach of water? We need to have a reservoir over on this side, I think. Bam. Let's aqueduct on over. That is annoying. You know what? I... Oh, it's fine. It's fine. Let's do that. Aqueduct reservoir right here. Bam. We're gonna need fountains. One, two, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Like that. That should cover everything. Let's go ahead and put down... Engineer's post. And let's e evolve this area. Yeah, let's go market. Bam, bam. Two markets, three types of food. Uh, all the resources we absolutely require here. There's six oil right there. Pottery oil, wine, everything required is right there. Uh, let's make sure these... Actually, it's it's kind of okay if some of these turn into villas, right? Let, let's limit the villa... Villas showing up here by just scattering some statues. Large statue. Bam. That should, that should deal with that. Let's garden up the middle. Bam. That looks not like a fruit can't use gardens. If I just fill up the middle with statues, it'll actually look more like a fruit on the map. There we go. So now it's like got this outside orange flesh. We've got this yellow in the middle, which is like the core of ambiguous fruit wedge. Then we just need um, services. We're going to need that. We're going to need a doctor's. We're going to need some baths. Let's speed up the game here. Uh, what else do we need? School. We're gonna need a library. We're gonna need a theater. We're gonna need an amphitheater. We're going to need... Oh, that doesn't look good on the map. Can I put the amphitheater somewhere else? Uh, we're going to need a forum because taxing people is important. Uh, we're gonna need temples to gods, Ceres, Neptune, Mercury, Mars, and Venus. There's the five temples there. Don't worry about money, that's not a concern right now. What else do we need? Barbers? We need a barber. Let's get a barber down. Rome increased the price of vines, not too much of a problem. Look at the speed of this evolving all the way up. Markets already have three types of food. <laughs> this is gonna be very, very nice. Um, do we provide a Colosseum? I don't need a Colosseum, but it will help with the culture rating, wouldn't it? Bam, a Colosseum. Why not? Why not? Uh, there we go, we're at 8,000 people. And now if we look at no employment problems, okay. We won't demolish this other crappy, ambiguous fruit, fruit wedge quite yet. Looks like we're actually using up quite a bit of furniture. So let's go and boost that up again. And uh, raw materials, timber yard. Bam, bam. There we go. Getting more furniture going. These houses here also moved in quite nicely. It needs extra desirability. Okay. That should help that evolve into a 2x2, two two, right? Evolve, yes. Come on, that's gotta work. Two by two. Really? X room for one? That's not right. There we go. X room for 46. Doing that, putting two statues there, increases the max population by 46. By the way, a lot of people can still move into these. So it's like a room for 100 each. 
basically. 100 plus each. That's like eight. This is like room for a thousand extra people just in the luxury palaces. There's like room for a thousand people in the luxury palaces. They just haven't moved in yet. Uh, we're still struggling with wheat supply here, apparently. Um, I guess we just try and shift from vegetables to wheat a little bit. Uh, shop by 31 employees after I did all that. That's actually fine. All these houses here are moving in. Water. Oh, the fort is causing some problems there. If I move this engineer's post to there, and just a backup one there just in case, and I put an oracle right here, that should solve that problem. How are the gods feeling? All happy and exalted. Fantastic. We haven't plazaed up the fruit wedge, the ambiguous fruit wedge there. Let's go ahead and do that. That should evolve these houses a little bit. And I think that's good, right? That's good. Now, let's have a look at our ratings here. Culture needs to be 45. It's asking for academies. Uh, what's our current employment? Shot by 26. If I go ahead and put an academy down there, that should help that a little bit. That's devolved. It's re-evolved. Not a problem. Not a problem. Eight luxury palaces. Still going strong. Ah. Oh, oh, okay. Okay. We need a bonus wheat farm here, I think. Okay, so now we're at 8,500 people. These need furniture, which we don't really... There is a bit of a supply here. How's our pottery supply? Pottery supply is fine. Look at that. Pottery supply is fine. Oil is maxed out. Wine is maxed out. You know, we just need to have, like some extra getting storage yards here. Um, go get more pottery. Go get more furniture. And go get more oil. There we go. Very nice, very nice. Uh... People really don't eat vegetables a lot, huh? <laughs> uh, we keep uh, we keep running out of. I guess I I just have one less vegetable, one more wheat farm, right? Because we keep having too many vegetables. All right, all right. So. There we go. People are slowly moving in. You can see that room for 166 in one of these. Room for 150, right? Room for 160. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's like room for another thousand people just in there. So, I think this is the time where I just do this. And speed up the game. And see if anything collapses. Does anything collapse? Look, we get grand insulates there. Very nice. What oh, was that message? Employees needed. Okay, this uh, needs access to a school. No problem. Let's give them an extra school. It'll help with culture rating. Population is at 9,000. Indigenous people. Food here did run out, unfortunately. There again. All right, just put you there. Just put you there. We actually don't need a lot. So that should deal with that. Now. How do I solve this problem? If I just hook this up. There is a lot of wheat to go around here. Alternatively. I just do that and go right 
That should help with things. <laughs> okay, we're at 9,000 people. 1,000 more people and we'll reach our target. Everything is fine except for culture and population. Culture will come along as we go. As employment goes up, we just add... Why did all of these just... Falling desirability. Why did everything just devolve? Run out of furniture. Oh yeah, we just need to bring more in. Those warehouses are getting it done. Okay, okay. These houses have devolved. Ah. Why? Entertainment is good, but not enough variety. Theater? Fine. Amphitheater? Fine. Coliseum? Here it comes. Here it comes. Okay. Not the most stable, is it? Not the most stable. Are these guys coming in yet? They're just about on the way. Okay. So, it definitely isn't the most stable block, but... Look how many died just from that first volley of tower shots. That's fine. That's fine. All right, so all of this is going to be functioning. Um, let's just put an engineer's post right there to back things up as well. That should help boost the food supply for this area. These are all back to Granded Slays. That's uh, improving local conditions. Yes, okay. All of these Grand Slays. Very nice, very nice. Run out of oil. Oil's not too far. I think the unstable food supplies is making things struggle a little bit here. This was probably a terrible idea. This was probably a terrible idea. But you know... I've done worse. I've, I've done... What? Does something look weird there to you? That's glitched out. That that doesn't look right, does it? That's a two by two. Okay. This is this is such a silly way of doing things. Look at that. Isn't, isn't this just a much better idea? Isn't, isn't that just a much better idea? Right? Right? Th this is this is so much this makes so much more sense. <laughs> In my rush, I was a little careless. these to not accepting. Don't have to destroy them so quickly. It'll make it a little better stocked down that way. Let's get rid of that road there. So now we have all of this food just supplying the luxury palaces once more, which have re-evolved, by the way. <laughs> uh, we can also just, you know, just stick a warehouse right there for getting oil.
Okay, that looks good. That looks much better. Let's save that and speed things up. One type of food. One type of food makes more sense. We don't need two types of food for the, the ambiguous fruit wedge. There we go. There we go. That makes more sense. 15 vegetables, sure, sure. Um, there's still plenty of food here as well. Can I, can I squeeze houses around here? You know, I kind of could. If I just put like a row of houses like that and put a fountain right there. That'll help it a bit. We're just 500 short, by the way. Look at that, we can evolve all those houses. How's our unemployment? 4%, perfect. Let's focus on culture. Too few libraries, you know what? You have a library. That's a terrible place to put a library. Let's not put a library there, that's... no. Um, <laughs> you know, let's just double down on this block. You have a library, you have a library. Let's look at our education ratings here. Libraries are below average, schools are average. You know what, let's spam some schools. School, 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 school. You guys don't have school access? Well, now you do. Look at that, schools. That should boost up culture to 42. Okay, let's get that music back on because it sometimes doesn't come back by itself. It needs more theaters. All right, you want more theaters? We can have more theaters. Bam. 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 Uh, probably should double up on the actor colony while we're here. Culture's 47, look at that. Now we just need to hit eight more people. Eight more people. And we've basically won this map. Look at this. This is Lutetia. This is Lutetia. That actually gives me some nice ideas for a block design, by the way. That looks very, very interesting. Single tile block designs, we could, we could do something with that. But look at this. Furniture is struggling to keep up, but we could easily have expanded that. We have 20,000 in the bank, by the way. Pottery is doing fine. Look at that. We've got our pineapple block. We've got our... Thanks to Kenny over on discord.gg slash Gimzak. We've got our cut-in-half apple block. We have eight luxury palaces on the luxury cherry block with no gatehouses because I was being silly uh, and I use triumphal arches just because they look good. Uh, we have the ambiguous fruit wedge block. Uh, we have the lemon and pear industrial and farming blocks. We have the banana block over here, which I haven't looked at for a, a long time. I'm surprised the banana block hasn't rotted to the ground. That over there is part of the banana bunch, by the way. You can't tell me otherwise. We have our, our secondary slums uh, <laughs> uh, ambiguous fruit wedge block. We have a nice long wall of towers here, which was never used because no invasions ever came from there. But this has been amazing. Let's Let's just look at the there's a uh, cut in half apple block slash cherry block over here with these leaves that don't really have any sort of function. And when I unpause this game and get eight more people moved into the city. Come on. We win. We win. Would you look at that? Fruit blocks. They don't work. Never use them. They're horrible. <laughs> oh, this was so much harder than it needed to be. But I did it. Because I can. Lizaren says, again, arches as gatehouses. Well, they're not as gatehouses because they don't work as gatehouses, do they? They're just bad. They, they serve no function. Anyway... Let's go ahead and accept promotion. Surely Caesar Augustus must have foreseen your coming when he predicted our absorption of the Gauls. 
your successor to Tisha goes far toward crushing their rebellious spirit. Ah, uh, well, would you look at that? That's the end of Lutetia victory. And there's all of our final ratings there. And if you're watching this on YouTube, we're going to be able to see what the next missions are. Looking at this, we have Damascus, a somewhat dangerous province, and Caesarea, a somewhat peaceful province. If you're on YouTube, there will be buttons on the screen where you can click to go to those missions. But do be sure to come back to the eighth assignment to see the military and peaceful missions. Anyway, that's going to be it for today. Thank you so much for watching. I can't believe we did fruit block designs and it worked. And I will see you in the next video.